Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we're going to take a look at a new listing in San Diego. It's a 2022 Veneto Gran Turismo 41. Join me for a walkthrough and tour of the boat. This GT41 was commissioned new and delivered in San Diego and currently has about 100 engine hours. Uh, this is October 2024. Walking up to the bow, you'll see we have a Delta Lumar stainless steel anchor. The boat has an electric windlass. Up on the bow is a really nice feature. This big sun pad with a retractable bimini. This awning comes up, gives you nice shade. And then also the seat backs here on the bow, you can fold up. Uh, they have a couple of um, points that they can uh, articulate. Nice comfortable area on the bow. Beautiful lines with these big windows on both sides. The new GTs have some really nice styling and then this um, kind of a metallic paint back uh, to trim the transom and then the windows here with the Beneteau logos. Super clean lines. On the transom, you have a retractable swim platform. So this is electric, goes down all the way underneath the water, giving you a nice little beach and also a Glen Denning shore power cord here. This is retractable by the push of a button. Port side will enter the cockpit and I'll pan across. Great entertaining space. You can have a dozen people in here. Port side has a sink as well as an electric grill and then ice maker and trash bin or storage. You have a folding cockpit table, so you can dine quite a bit of people here or when you're underway. This is a really nice handhold as well as two cup holders. Ultra leather upholstery, there is storage underneath. Air conditioning in the cockpit too, comes out of a couple of vents here at the helm. Real quick on the transom, there is a nice big sunbed and then a retract the, uh, the backrest here flips down so you can have a lounge or you can sit uh, forward facing. Outboard is your cockpit shower. So that is a hot and cold freshwater shower when you come out of the water that uh, is gonna be super nice. And then lots of lighting. You have the courtesy lights, cockpit lights, some indirect as well as underwater lights on this boat. And here's a switch for that platform to go down. I really like these indirect lights underneath the floor. Really gives a classy look to the whole boat. And both sides of the cockpit have steps going up to the bow. Both of your fuel fills for the port and starboard tanks are here. And then you also have fresh water and black water uh, deck fittings. This is a very fun boat to drive. Sitting here central in the cockpit, you have really good visibility all the way around the boat. Really nice helm as well. You have the large Garmin multifunction display, all the electronics, simply put one switch and you're going to activate everything, your radar, which is up top. You've got a, a VHF and GPS antennas, navigation lights, a horn. And right now we have the sunroof open. Great for visibility. You just press the switch here to open and close it. You can also go up and down with the anchor. You have your horn here, windshield wiper. And then uh, just forward of that is a cell phone charging station. Just rest your phone there. Battery combiner, bilge pumps fresh water throughout the boat and then nav lights. So if we're underway at night or if we're anchored, you just flip that switch there. The Volvo ignition and then port and starboard uh, engine displays. Down below you have your throttles, zip wake, automatic trim tabs, and then joystick docking, which is such a great feature with the Volvo stern drives. What that's gonna do is disengage the wheel and the throttles and let me take total control of the boat with the joystick. If I push the joystick to the left, the whole boat's gonna go to the left. If I rotate it, the boat will rotate around its central axis. 
and I could do those controls simultaneously. So I can move the boat over, come up to a fuel dock or back it into the slip, rotate it. And the further I push the joystick, the more RPM, the faster you, you go in that direction. So really nice to maneuver getting in and out of a slip or somewhere maybe you're unfamiliar with, a new guest dock uh, or fuel dock. Really makes it simple. At the helm, we have three cup holders. You got a couple here and one outboard because this is really designed for three people. You have a twin seat here and then a single outboard where our VHF radio is. Nice comfy seat for guests. So you can have quite a few people sitting forward facing when you're underway. And also there's a bow thruster. So you can use the engines to joystick and move the whole boat, but a little fine touch here, the bow thruster is super helpful. Say you're picking up a mooring in Catalina, helps the person on the bow grab the stick and pull it on board. Near the companionway, you have a cockpit refrigerator with a little freezer on top. Could be your beverage fridge, nice location. And the sellers of this boat added an outlet here on um, game days, you can put a TV on top of this cabinet, or you can mount one permanently and have a TV for your guests in the cockpit here. Coming down into the interior, I'll pan across. So you have a really comfortable salon area, nice salon table. This table drops down and there's a, a pad to make this an additional berth if you'd like to do that. Nice lacquered cabinets up here with really good storage. So you got four large storage areas up there, some storage under the seat. Fusion Apollo stereo control. We have our selectors for the shore power or generator. Right now we're just getting shore power. Generator start control. The boat does have an inverter, air conditioning inside and outside. Uh, so for the cockpit and for the interior here, and then you also have your batteries and also a monitoring system. So you can see here, this is our showing our fresh water in the boat at 44%. Starboard side is the galley. Really beautiful LED lighting. Electric stovetop. Refrigerator underneath from Dometic. And then forward of that. You have some really nice storage with um, soft closed drawers inside. Pretty creative. I do like the material, this cabin or the uh, countertop. Self opening trash bin. Stainless steel sink. Got a nice window there and some storage as well as a microwave. What some people do on this cabinet here is put a small TV monitor. So you already have the electrical. If you wanna have a uh, TV monitor on this board, so you have uh, an area to sit and watch TV near the galley. Forward is a center line VIP stateroom. Great cabin with some storage under the bed, lockers on both sides, and this, room already has a large Samsung TV. You have electrical near the headboard where there's DC plugins. So USB DC to DC, real easy to charge your devices without having the generator, short power or inverter on. Hanging locker and a separate fusion stereo in this cabin. Moving aft, you have a center line berth here. That can have two single berths as shown here, or you can fill in the center with these cushions here. You've got a full beam cabin here with opening ports on both sides, windows, and some storage inside these cabinets. Forward is your head. I really like the use of the teak wood. So on the floor, and on this seat covering the electric Jabsco head. Got some real wood, it's nice and comfortable. Good shower stall. And a beautiful white bowl sink. 
Last thing we'll do is take a look at the engine room. So I'll open up this hatch and show you around. Quick access into the engine room is through this floor compartment. So coming in, you have port and starboard fuel tanks, your Onan Cummins generator in the middle, and then our Volvo diesel engines here, twin D4 300 horsepower turbo diesels with the sea strainers right on the front. And then there's some gray spots here that you can easily step down in there and sit and do your uh, daily or frequent checks in the engine room. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the GT41 available right now in San Diego. Feel free to reach out right away for more information and to get on board yourself. I look forward to talking to you soon.